What's up, everyone? Today we'll be talking about how you can integrate ChatGPT to your Excel Google Sheet. Uh, without further ado, let's check it out. Right here, we are back again to tell you and explain in details how you can actually uh, pull up that trick of implementing ChatGPT to your Google Sheets. So first of all, you have to, um, I just write down the steps. You sign up to your Google account, make sure you got a Google account and then access your Google Sheet. Secondly, you go directly to file, make make sure you make a copy of this one so you can have your own template say This is actually mine, but you can actually make a copy of it. Um, secondly, um, third, sorry, uh, let's say, I guess, step number four, you have to go to extensions, click in app script, and it will prompt, that, it will prompt you to another uh, a page where you can actually copy a script. I'll be um, I'll be putting the, the link of this script in the description. It's uh, just via GitHub. So you just have to go and click on copy and paste. That's step number four. Now, step number five, be using OpenAI API to have access to ChatGPT's power. Now you have to go to beta.openapi. I'll lay out the this is the link over there. You click there, you sign up if you if you haven't done that yet, or if you have an account already on AP open AP open AI, you just sign in and then go directly to that link, and then you'll be prompt to create your own API keys. It's limited but it's free for now so you can actually have access to it so once the, your key is created you copy your key and then you come back to this sheet you paste there'll be the, there'll be the code over there let me see if i can pull up mine so this is the this is the code this is the script itself because i already copied i would paste it there but on yours it will be blanked so you have to copy it from the github repo and then paste it there so be prompted here, there will be API key. That's where you're going to copy and paste your own API that you get from OpenAI, the beta version I mentioned earlier. I've refined it a little bit. Uh, it was a longer version. I refined the, the, the code to make it more concise and and easy to read. So I've implemented those error parameters, actually the uh, error handle. So should, should um, anyone want to look at it, that's fine. But for normal user, you don't even need that. All you have to do is copy and paste and make sure that you get your API keys integrated there. Make sure that everything is done and then you click on save. Boom, that's it. Now, once you've done that, you just go back to your original sheet. Let's jump over there. I'll add countries, population, size of the countries, capitals, and currencies. And all I do is, I said earlier, this is actually the prompt you have to put. Chat GPT, the blue is the input. The red part is the size, is the range. So exact which uh, cells in your Excel sheet you want to uh, have your information. You don't have to have the information dumped dump there. And then I integrate that, that one because I found that when I run it, it gives me long answers that I didn't need. Because as you can see, the Excel cells are, are kind of small. And then I can afford to have longer explanations. So I added this context into it. And then I lay out the labels there. So the blue is the input the information you want to ask. The red one is the range where you want to put your, your dynamic information. The green is the extension. Now let's make some practice. Let's get our hands dirty. Uh, basically, um, let's just click on any of them here. Let's start with Germany, for example. So I tap the country's name. So for, there you can actually add any any country whatever country you want let's but let's get to the prompt first so here because i need the information about populations i tap the input here that is actually the population how much is the population of that's my question that's my prompt now because my uh my request the my the input will be the same but my my request will be dynamic so I just link it to a specified to a specific cell. At that point, whenever I move the same uh, uh, prompt, I get the dynamic cells. Then my information request will be automatically dynamic. Then I'll have a specific 
and for re, I mean response for a specific request. Then this actually, as I say, the little bit things I added to spice it up. Uh, I'll continue refine it and see if I can have it because I still find that it's a bit tricky sometimes to give me a couple of tricky answers. But so far, ninety eight percent of the time, it gives me the exact answer, the desired length of answer, so I can't complain. But I can continue. Uh, poking on it and, see, and make sure that I get the maximum performance. Now, as I said earlier, if you don't put the short answer, it will give you a long, for example, if you ask for, uh, let's say, the size of a country, it'll give you the size, it'll give you uh, historical things that you don't need at that moment. So that's why I added the simple, I said short answer, and it works. Now, as I said earlier, if you go back to the labels here, the blue is the input, the red is the range, the cell range, and then the green is the context. So it's actually the context of it. The context is the short answer, so that's the green one. The red one is the range, which cells I want to put it, I want it to look at, and then which information I want it to extract from that information from the cell. Now, let's try with another country. So here I said population, you can see. And for here, I just say pretty much the size of the, 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 the end kilometers. You can change in meters and whatever uh, measurement you want to use. And I still keep my little spice there, short answer. And I do the same capitals, so just ask what capital city of da, 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 currency. And you can add any other flags, whatever things you want to add later on if you want to play without it. With it now, as I said earlier, say about example. So let's take any other uh, random country. I said, uh, let's say you country I have Haiti, United States, Canada, Brazil, Italy, Italy, Germany. Let's go for France. All I have to do here is put France. That's it. And then I click on the first one, scroll down, boom. Chat GPT is on the move. Boom, 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 magic's done. And then I got my information, 66 six million. Uh, same, I can just do this one for sizes. What happened there? Boom, size of friends, capital city, boom. Paris, currency, boom, euro. Now, tricky part is as I said, it gives me, it gives me like the population of France approximately six six million. Sometimes I might not just need the number. I'm working on it. I haven't figured out how to make it happen, but I promise I'll come back with another version of another video once I get uh, a way of get only the numbers. Let's say you want to do mathematical operations, you just need the numbers. Then this information might not be useful at all. So with that being said. That's how you can leverage a pair of chat GPT to Excel. And you can ask anything, color of fruits, uh, taste of fruits, anything. It will be able to answer you given its large data set. Uh, thank you very much for your time, guys. I think it was a great thing when I learned it. So I think sharing is the best thing I can do. So I share with you guys. Consider subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share with your friends. And... You know what it is. Peace.